this to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Inshallah, one minute in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Going to do a quick, quick hit. Because I'll start in Ezekiel 12 and verse, verse 25. It says, For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall, not, it shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith Ha'ada one Yahweh. Right, which a precept you can line up with that is Habakkuk. It says Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And when you go into this, this is why words are important. Yeah, the, although it says tarry twice in the English, there's two different Hebrew words for tarry. So the first one, though it tarry, right, though it maha, maha, says to linger, tarry, wait, delay. And then uh, that's just reading from there, which is an outline of biblical usage, which the real biblical usage is the translation can't, because you know, that's where it's used you know, in the King James Version. So tarry five times, linger twice, delayed once, stay once. And the other word is achar, achar. So it's to delay, hesitate, tarry, defer, remain behind, to delay, tarry. To cause one to delay, hinder, keep back. To delay, wait, stay behind, but not in hope. All right, so to retard. Yeah, because retard, what does retard mean? Well, let's look at it. If people get so offended by that term, what does it actually mean? Retard. It says make slow or slower. From French, retarder. Restrain, hold someone back. Keep someone from doing something. Come to a stop. Right, or directly from relating retarder. Retarder. Make slow, delay, keep back, hinder. Right? So that's all it means. No, if you if you sl mentally slow is the connotation, but the literal meaning is you know to be slow, not to delay, tarry. Right. So the vision, a lot of these prophecies, you know, visions, dreams, are for the end times. Yes, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What better time than now? Yeah. <laughs> what better time than the end? Yeah, because it is the end times. It says Hebrews one and one. It says. I'll read it verbatim. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Right, then that's another one you can use there, worlds, to go when it says um, John 3.16, you know, the most I love the world. And then, you know, we all really know that off by heart, that scripture. Christians know it, but we know it. Not because we, you know, we go and go, oh, look, man, the, the, the Messiah loves the whole world. We, we rebut it. You know, we don't rebut the scripture, but we rebut the common breakdown of Hamashiach, you know, meaning the Messiah, and his heavenly father, Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right, loving the whole world, you know, the Elamite world. Because you even have that, we also would say, you know, you've got the world of sports, you've got the world of this, the world of that, the world of fashion. You know, which certain camps know about. Fucking hell. The world of fashion. Anyway, so in these last times, the book of Hebrews you know, was written thousands, thousands of years ago. But guess what? You know, that was the end times. That was the last days. So how much more so now? Let's get another scripture for that. Romans 13 and 11. And knowing that the time... And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Doesn't mean we're disbelievers, but it means the salvation is nearer than when we first believed. You know, when we first woke up, like, oh, I'm an Israelite. Now then you start learning about prophecy. And you start learning about this, learning about that. Yeah, it's nearer than then. So if you learned you're an Israelite yesterday, well, guess what? Now, today, is nearer you know, than when we first believed, even yesterday. Yeah, and we're in such a such a time that from day to the next day, yeah, a crazy amount of shit is happening, man. 
you know, whether it be hidden, whether it be surface level, yeah, but as it's written, let me find it so I can get it verbatim. This is Mark 4 and 22. For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret where that should come abroad, that it should come abroad. Also Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. That's the same thing. Yeah, so there's all, all manner of you know, prophetic events are happening. Uh, so though it seems to be slow, there's not. And that's the whole thing. Our people, uh, well, in and out, within and without the truth, you know, think, oh, this is... Because you had, speaking of fashion, you had IUIC and the Passover fashion show. And apparently, I didn't watch it, you know, but apparently... You had someone up there, a sister, talking about, oh, this is what we're going to do for next year. What the fuck? Yeah, every every uh, holiday we have, every holiday we have among the brotherhood, you know, I'm speaking in, around us in our camp, we say, you know, Lord willing, this is our last. Yeah, every every holiday, you know, I've got I've got memories of. <laughs> Every holiday, or holy day rather, which is all that means holiday, is actually holy day. But you know, people have perverted that today. Oh look, it's the Easter holidays. Nothing in the scriptures about Easter. Except for Acts uh, 12 and 4. When you go to that, the word is Pascha. Right, which going into Passover. Um, yeah, every holiday, we're trying to hasten it, man. And that's the spirit you ought to be in. You know, on certain days we feel weaker, certain days we feel stronger, but we have to keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Because you know, this is this is the what the um the stability of our times. Okay? Just to go on this Easter point. He said, Oh brother, you said Easter's not in the scriptures. And then yeah, you know, try and go into that. So Acts 12 and 4, and when he had apprehended him. He put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Easter, that word is Pascha. Oh, that word wasn't, but the word actually there for Easter is Pascha, which, as it tells you here, comes from the Hebrew word Pesach. And it tells you it's a Passover, not no bunny rabbit and whatever the fuck else, eggs. Um, which, why does a bunny have eggs? No, but anyway. So our people think, oh, this is a far, a far away thing. Yeah, this is what we're going to do next year. This, hey, let's see this. You shouldn't even say that about the next day. All right, really? This is James 4 and 13. Go to now ye that say today or tomorrow, we should go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapour that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. You know, so planning, especially now. You know, we're in the fucking midst of the, the, the foundations being laid for World War Three. Really, it's been laid. You know, but it, it coming into fruition, it coming into, it being actualised in the flesh. Yeah, because it's already been spiritually set up. Yeah, it's been preached about. So now all we've got to do is, is wait. You know, pushing this word. Holding it fast. What you've been taught. Knowing of who you've been taught it by. Yeah, and just keep pushing it. You know, enduring until the end. The same shall be saved. That's how you get it. Yeah, not, not doing all these gimmicks, man. Thinking that godliness, sorry, gain is godliness. Yeah, well, we've got we've got a bunch of people over here. We're making a whole bunch of money over here. We must be godly. You know, we're not we're not with that bum camp. Cool, man. We'll we'll be the bums. Yeah, we'll be the bums hoping for salvation. Cause that's what does it not say? You know, the Lord hath chosen the poor of the earth. 
At James 2 and 5, How can my beloved brethren, hath not the Most High chosen the power of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? You know, we, as, a, as a nation we're poor. You know, as a nation we're poor. And them that are, are sincere, silly hoping. You know, we're not, generally, generally speaking, you might have a few outliers, secret disciples and such. But really, yeah, we, we're not um, rich in carnal possessions. We're, we're rich in faith. And yeah, we're rich in the spirit. You understand? With, um, I had something to say, but it slipped my mind. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll be the bums. We'll be the bums hoping for salvation, man. It's Ezekiel 12. <laughs> Give me two seconds. So, like, some guy, um, not some guy, you know, some guy, <laughs> said it again. Yeah, this guy that um, used to be a childhood friend, yeah, just pulled up um, by the car. Anyway, no more distractions and interruptions. Ezekiel uh, 12, and verse... Verse, we'll read it from 25 again. For I am Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall not be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith Ha'adawan Yahweh. Again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesieth of the times that are far, that are far off. Therefore, saying to them, Thus saith Ha'ada one, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord Yahweh. Let me just see. Right, so you've got that. Yeah, and let's see. Let's see. All these mocking, scoffing guys. So, oh, you bums talking about that thing. You always talking about that. Let's see how if you yeah how quick you change your tune. Yeah, when they're talking about well, you have to take this charagma. And then you say, oh shit. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, maybe you were. I just want to check this word. All right, Adanya, Adanya, Salakia. Adanya. And the word prolong, let's get that. So the word is mashak, mashak. To draw, drag, seize. To draw and lift out. Drag along, lead along, drag or lead off. Draw that. You know when you got a long shift, you start, you're in like an hour in. You've got like eight, nine to go or whatever. Oh, this is dragging, man. This is, this is mashaking. Yeah, that's how Jake really feels about these prophecies. Not that, not that he's in the spirit of haste and oh, yeah, I just wish I. It's like oh no, don't worry about that. Yeah, we've got plenty of time to live it up. I could do with a hundred years just to get right. Yeah, that is not the spirit to be in, Jake. Okay. Now, of course, we want to get right, but we know in this flesh we're not going to get uh, perfect in the flesh. Yeah, we can get perfect and perfected. In the spirit, by fire, by trials. But ultimately we have to have that faith in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and his blood that that's what's going to cover us. And not our carnal uh, works. Now, our, our, not, not even ourselves. I say even ourselves, not even our, our own faith. Now, you can have a, 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 an amazing amount of faith. And guess what? If, you, if, the, Lord, if the Lord didn't make you of the elect... That's what it's about. That's why we push that so much. Now, if you are you are of the elect, you know the Lord's going to give you faith, and if you've got a lot of faith, yeah, most likely you are of the elect. But it's still something to to bear in mind. It's not oh, you know, maybe if I can get this, maybe if I can get that, I'll be saved. No, it's already set up. Yeah, we're all just playing our part. Yeah, but you got you got to you got to put everything in perspective, man. 
And where a man's heart is, there shall be his treasure also. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. I had a scripture, but again, it slipped my mind. Yeah, I pray it's been edifying. Next video, Lord willing, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak, Wadash. So.